We have so many good programs around our town. It's tough to pick ones to spotlight, but when it comes to talent and winning for the boys and girls, there may not be a more successful school this year than John Burroughs. The boys come into tonight 11 and three. They have a pair of near seven foot sophomores in Tristan Reed and Sheik Pearson. Colleges will be calling on them for three years. Pee Wee Leonard's squad is legit. We know the Burroughs girls are legit. They won it all in 2022 when this senior class, led by Gonzaga-bound Allie Turner and elite scorer Monet Witherspoon, were just sophomores. Their only loss this year, a four-point defeat to Incarnate Word, who we know has a program history. Their head coach, Chad Anderson, also became the school's all-time wins leader during the streak. It's a balanced attack for the Rams that has them focused on getting back to the state title game. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the more balanced teams I've had. I mean, we have, you know, seven or eight kids that can go off and get 15 or 20 a night. If Sam's not going to hit a three like Dwayne's would get a dunk, like, it's just like everybody has their own role and, like, their way to, like, make the game momentum change. Yeah, I mean, I think if, I mean, I take it one game at a time, but, yeah, at times I do think I can, I want to go 32 and 0. I want to just win the whole thing. We love to spotlight high school athletes who go on to do great things. Frederick Moore certainly qualifies. The Cardinal Ritter grad won a national championship in his first year as a receiver for the Michigan Wolverines. In fact, he has now won 29 games in a row, dating back to his days at Cardinal Ritter. It sounds great just coming into college, winning my freshman year. I know I came short in high school my first freshman year. I was supposed to win, but coming into college, started off on a great foot. Playing for Coach Harbaugh, he's definitely a uh, coach for the players, so he do with everything. He do everything he can do to put you in the best position. So I feel as though I really love Coach Harbaugh. And he meant a lot to me, giving me the opportunity to play at University of Michigan. Up next.